Nancy Collins. How old do you support, suppose George Hamilton is? I mean, we're not oh. dealing with a spring chicken there. He's been around for a while. Fantasy. He's got to be at least in his 40s, right? Wouldn't we'll you think? We'll have him write us well, something. We'll, yeah. we'll see how old Good. he is. This Look. is Brenda Bradshaw, everybody. She's a psychic, so she ought to know how old George Hamilton is. We'll forgive her this one slip. <laughs> um, but you deal with handwriting here, but today we have pictures, right? Yes, we certainly do. Uh, this uh, man from Gooseland, Virginia, he said I could use his name, Walter Johnson. And Walter has uh, taken a, uh, and drawn a picture of his concept of something, and he doesn't know what it means. Now, this happens a lot with an artist. When they uh, pick up a piece of paper, they're not quite sure what they want to put on the paper. And uh, Cindy, as you realize, as you walk through the museums now, uh, there is something called modern art, which no one can interpret. That's true. I heard once a monkey won a prize. Yes, for doing no that. one knew. What you're not saying that Mr. What's his name, Johnson? No, He's Mr. Mr. Johnson is a person who can put something on paper from his subconscious mind and not realize what it's going to be when it comes out. And most famous artists do that. They will. Uh, be able to interpret something only with, with their dreams or in their subconscious mind. This first painting here that we have, the first picture that we have, it shows that he's a very sensitive, loving person. But there's also confusion here because it's, the loops are all intertangled. And he wants so much for a special person to enter into his life at this time. He wants for a relationship that can give him love and stability. He wants someone, a partner, to work with him. And that's what this painting is showing. How can you tell all that? Okay. It's like the bedspread I used to have. All right. The red is the most forcible color. It shows the aggressive color. And the green is outlining and showing also a uh, materialistic nature. And the black is uh, what it's doing is pulling all this together. Now, I got the impressions from the red, the greens, the blacks, but also the shape is a very loving shape. But there is something else here. I was also getting the psychic impression from this drawing. Second one. Okay. This is still Mr. Johnson. Right. Now, if you look very close here at this picture, this looks like a woman on a beach, and she's bending over, touching her knees. Can you see that? It's very hard to see this, but she's shying away from him. And this is the woman in his life, and she is shying away from her advances and his advances. And what, what they're doing is they're not showing her his face. And you can see the red and the black areas. This is optimistic. He feels strongly he can reach this woman. I like the last one, if we have time for this. Sure. The last one is the most artistic one of all because if this is the turmoil that's going on within his life at this time. He's in big trouble. He has mixed feelings about certain things, and he also... Uh, shows in this that uh, the colors are going inside, outside of each other. But the one thing about this, uh, all of his drawings together is he will reach his goals because he has spiritual feelings that are uh, intermixing in these materialistic feelings. And uh, the main thing about doodles, you know, if you're doodling, and this is, this is an over-large doodle because it's not really a planned painting. So if you're doodling and drawing everything, the little points are the aggressive, the rounded parts are your loving nature, and the wiggly shapes are your imagination, and the uh, other square ones are your secure feelings. So these shapes will come out in your doodles, and you can look at someone's doodles and see exactly how they're feeling. Would you go through that one more time? All right, the Round rounded things. ones are love. Round, okay. The pointed edges are your aggressive feelings. You know, you feel really mad, you're going to mm -hmm. draw a lot of points. And your square ones are your security. You have to draw a squares. lot of squares. Uh -huh. And then the wiggly ones all going in all different directions is your imagination. So you can tell by reading someone's doodles how they're feeling while they're writing their doodles. If they're sitting in a meeting, you can see how they're objecting to you by the little sharp points of the sharp pointing. That's great. No telephone pad in Channel 8 is safe for me today. No, nothing is safe. No. I'm finding out about everyone. <laughs> You're in big trouble every day. That's right. Well, Brenda, thank you. That's, I'm going to be self-conscious about doodling now for the rest of my life. Thank okay. you. We'll see you next week with some more okay. words on handwriting. And uh, right now on Good Morning Virginia or coming up.